Today we are going to be learning how to travel between worlds. So right now I am just on the um, kind of the worlds page here. Um, and I've bought quite a few actually. The only ones I don't own are Windenburg. What is that one? I think that's the... That might be the university one. Or no. No, that's the... Um, Okay, that is the city living, and I'm not sure what that one is. My camera is blocking it. And then this one is eco lifestyle, the one down at the very bottom. Um, so I've almost got all of them unlocked, but today we're gonna go over to Strangerville, and I'm gonna show you how to travel um, between worlds. So we're just gonna pick a random household here. Let's see. It looks like there's one person here in this house. So we're just gonna hit the play button down at the bottom here. So it's just that one right there. Um, what is her name? Meredith? So we're gonna travel with Meredith. First we have to go into her house though and um, you know. My cat. This is Nala. Whenever it gets past the loading screen, it takes forever. So now we're in our house. Oh, and that is a cute dude right there. Cowboy. Have to like go oh, get flirty with him later. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, to get to another world, you have to go to your phone and you'll see like two, three, five icons down there at the bottom. And you're gonna hit R1 on your remote right here. So R1. I can... There you go. Now that is kind of getting on my nerves. I have to zoom out a little bit because that's so loud in my ear. Anyway, go to your phone. Go over and hit R1 on your remote. So you have the R1 and R2 button and L1 and L2. And then anyway, over with R1 and then go all the way down. Um, it'll give you options like volunteer, split from household, and move, which you don't want to worry about. The first three, uh, move household, and it'll say take a vacation. Yeah, sorry, excuse me. Take a vacation or travel, and you will want to click the travel button. Take a vacation lets you go to the destination world, I believe, which we do not want to do that. We just want to kind of like choose which world we want to go to. Um, and then it will also let you select which Sims you want to travel with. Um, so maybe I will. I'll travel with the cute guy, actually. So I'll choose him to travel with. And you can travel with up to seven sims. So now what we're gonna do... It'll take you to, like, another loading screen. And then you're just going to go... Okay, so it'll take you back out to the main screen of Strangerville. And then you go out to the same world selection. Um, up where you were. And you'll hit go back to world select. And then you'll hit the X button on your uh, PlayStation controller. And you will go to whatever world you want to go to. So I think I'm going to go to Solani. The beach world, where it's all nice and warm and, you know, pretty. The beaches and the fish and the mermaids. Yeah, there's mermaids in this, uh, in this Sims pack. That's what I think is cool about this, uh, Solani game pack. I think that was one of the first game packs that I actually purchased, too. But anyway, 
And then you can send them wherever you want to send them. So like, um, there should be a bar around here somewhere. Oh, there's a, a lagoon. That's a, that's a house actually. Um, oh, here's the sandbar. So I'm going to send them to the bar. And once you send them somewhere, you can hit this, you'll hit a, the confirm button with the little car. And it will just take you right into the game again. Freezing cold in my house. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm wearing all these blankets. Well, also, I didn't insulate my house for the winter either. Technically, I live in an apartment, so it's not always the warmest in here because we have like cracks in our windows and everything, so. That's why I'm so freezing right now. <laughs> so if I look all bundled up and kind of weird, I'm sorry. Alright, so now we're at the sandbar where we just sent our sim, sims, sorry, sims. Uh, I was just going to send her, but I sent him with her. Um, so then we can go and we can just, you know, it'll give you some options here at the bar. You can tend the bar, you can, you know, grab a bite to eat, get some chips, you can make a drink. Um, I'm gonna choose tend bar, because I want to be a bartender. I'm gonna be that sexy bartender. And then you can just kind of, like, play the game from there, and then there's also other stuff to do, like, what's this? Um, uh, never been in, I've never explored, uh, this area of Sims too much either, the Solani pack. I've only just made mermaids in it. Looks like you can make sand sculptures there. And then you can also just, like, go out in the water and stuff and go exploring too. Like, there's fish over here and you can go, I think if you click this, yeah, you can go snorkeling. I'm gonna make him go, make him go snorkeling. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get your sims to travel from one world to another. Okay, that's a household. But anyway, when you want your sims to go home as well, um, you can use the phone icon again and just, you know, go back through the whole process of uh, just using that car icon and traveling, but it's a whole... It's a whole bigger process because you gotta like go through the loading screens again and everything so Honestly, it's just a lot easier to just click this button on your PlayStation remote this big big button right here and then it'll give you this little arrow and Then you can honestly just click go home right there on the bottom of this uh, uh, Excuse me the bottom of the screen. It'll show like a little house icon next to your sim and You just hit the go home button and that's all there is to it. Um, and now I sent her home, actually, he's still in Sulani, but, yeah, super, super simple. Alright, so, thank you for watching this video, and I think that's all I wanted to add. Um, please like and subscribe, and I hope this video was really helpful. Um, so, yeah. Bye!